I want to thank everybody again for choosing uh, Thunder Hill Speedway and IMCA Racing. We realize you have choices and places to race, and we appreciate you choosing Thunder Hill and IMCA. Do our best. You have a reputation, I think, for following the rules, which increases your opportunity to be successful at this, we hope. We'd like to leave it in the driver's hand. Make sure your car is legal. If you don't know, my two best suggestions are know the rules and know what you own. If you just bought it that way, or you never took a valve cover off a motor you claimed or bought or whatever, I suggest looking. It's not always great when that happens, when the very first time that happens is in text. Please do what you can do. I don't want your best moment to come. Welcome to the Grassroots Racing Show Night at the Track. Tonight we're going to go to Thunder Hill in Mayetta, Kansas for some IMCA racing. The first race of the evening is the Hornet class. If you've ever wondered why they call them the Hornets, just listen and you'll soon know why. Welcome back to the Grassroots Racing Show Night at the Track. The next race is the Hobby Stock from Thunder Hill at Mayetta. Craig Harper looking them over. We'll look for a green this time by. Green on the speedway down the front straight away they go. Adam Armstrong, Whalen Banks side by side, the 88, the 6A. Here comes Dominic Tifo, the 27. 
Banks with a good run off of two. He'll hold on to the lead, but here comes Armstrong on the high side. Look out, Patrick Doherty. Oh, look out, we got contact. Waylon Banks out front, battle for second, Adam Armstrong. Dominic Tifo looks out, look out, Travis Darnall off the pace. Oh, look out, your leader loops over in turn one, or turn four. And everybody did a nice job missing at Waylon Banks, and we're going to stay green. Waylon Banks fires up the 88, and we are green on the speedway. And he looped it in front of the field, and the field did a good job missing him. Adam Armstrong, your new leader. Armstrong out front in the 6A. Dominic Tifo sits in second. Then it's the 3C of Jacob Crowell running third. Josh Hayde right there with him in the 22E sits in the fourth spot. Oh, the 66, the little smoke out of Kyle Broham. Adam Armstrong continues to lead. Dominic Tifo holding down that second spot. Jacob Crowell has the 3C sitting in the third spot. As our laps start to wind down. Oh, uh, problems for Josh Hayde. 22E off the pace. Hayde heads to the pit area. Tough break for him. Adam Armstrong starting to build the lead now as laps wind down here in our buyraceparts.com. IMCA Hobby Stock A Main. Adam Armstrong continues to lead. Armstrong a tough IMCA hobby stock competitor. Out front in the 6A. Dominic Tifo continues to run second. Jacob Crowell, the 2C, holds down third. You're watching Night at the Track. We'll be right back after these messages. Two to go this time by. Out front, Adam Armstrong with a straightaway lead over the 27 of Dominic Tifo. Jacob Crowell has the three C in that third spot. Mallory Walters, good run for the young lady. She sits in fourth in that M87. As your leader comes off turn four, white flag waves. One more time, Adam Armstrong looking to pick up another win here at Thunder Hill Speedway. And 
And off a turn for Checkered Skyward. Adam Armstrong picks up the win. Dominic Tifo will come home in the second spot. Jacob Crowell brings the 3C home third. Mallory Walters, good run for her. The M87 comes home fourth. And 6J of Jacob Harms comes home in the fifth spot. There he is, race fans. One more time, big round of applause for Adam Armstrong of the 6A. Hope you enjoyed the hobby stock. Next up is the Northern Mod A Main. We'll be back after these important messages. Stay tuned. Now let's go back to the track for the Northern Mod A Main. Aaron Hilderman, Dustin Chris. Your front row, Hilderman 65, Chris the 222, C4 is Curtis Drescher, the 9 is Devin Stock. Row 3, the that's the 3 of Curtis Peel and the 91 of Eddie Schwope Jr. Here we go off at turn 4. We are green. Down to turn 1 they go, Aaron Hilderman out front. Eddie Sh Eddie Schwope shuffles back through the field. He'll try to battle back up. Dustin Chris back to second. Now Chris will pull alongside. Now he'll settle back in behind Aaron Hilderman. Now he'll move to the inside of Hilderman. He'll take the top spot off at two. Here comes Hilderman on the high side. Devin Stock in third. Curtis Peel running fourth. Peel a Salina car coming down to run here at Thunder Hill Speedway. Here comes Brian the Riviera working the high side. Team Extreme number two. He'll go around. He'll move into third down the back straightaway looking for second. He'll move into second. Matt Crowell, the 2C, will battle with the two of Brian the Riviera. There goes the Riviera. He'll move into second. Dustin Christ out front. Here comes Jaws in the waiting pool. It's the two of Brian the Riviera. Oh, look out. Curtis Peel off the speedway. And Brian the Riviera looked like something broke as he went into turn three. He's still in second. Dustin Christ, your leader, and definitely the Riviera off the pace. Crowell on the 2C closes the gap back up on the Riviera. Something broke on the road. Oh, the hood came off the car as well. Dustin Christ, your leader of the 222, battle on the speedways for second. That's the two of Matt Crowell, the two, two C of Matt Crowell, two of Brian the Riviera. The Riviera will take that second spot. Luke Stahlbomber has the L26 up in the fourth position. Eddie Schwab Jr. has the 91 up into the fifth position. As the field starts to spread out. And now Brian the Riviera closes the gap on your leaders one more time. And now your leaders close in on the lap traffic. Chad Wonder out in front of your leaders. Curtis Peel back on the speedway after a trip down the hot pit lane. Yeah. 
And now Matt Crowell on the 2C up to battle for the lead. Even Dustin Chris knows the tail right into turn three. Laps winding down here in our Kansas National Guard IMCA Northern Sport Mod A main. Dustin Chris has the lead for now, but here comes Matt Crowell on the 2C. He'll pull up alongside the 222 of Dustin Chris. Chris will hold on to the top spot. We got two laps to go. Out front, it's Dustin Chris, Matt Crowell. Chris, the 222, Crowell, the two C's. They go side by side to turn three. They'll look for the white flag. Off at turn number four, white flag waves. Chris will lead the white flag lap as they go into turn one for the final time. Crowell pulls to the inside. Side by side, down the back straightaway to turn three, they go. Matt Crowell by a nose. Here comes Brian LaRiviere up with your leaders as well. Off at turn four, it's gonna be a drag race. Down the front straight away, Dustin Christ. Hey, How about it, race fans? Off at of turn number four. Dustin Christ picks up the win by one tenth of a second. Dustin Christ, your winner in the 222. Matt Crow, you were so close, but no cigar. You get the second spot. Brian LaRiviere will battle back for a second after the hood launches on the two. The L26, the Luke Stahl Bomber will be fourth, and Eddie Schwab Jr., the fifth spot. So happy Dustin Christ. Nice job down there picking up the Kansas National Guard. IMCA Northern Sport Mod A Main. He stands in the pit pass liquor victory lane, getting the hardware from O'Reilly Auto Parts. And that puts three features in the books, race fans. We've got our Heinen Repair Service. IMCA Stock Car is up next on the Speedway. One more time, race fans, big round of applause for Dustin Chris as he heads back to the pit area. Wow, Dustin Chris just edged out the second place finisher by one tenth of a second. They don't get much closer than that. We have IMCA Stock Cars up next. We'll be right back. You're watching Night at the Track from Thunder Hill in Mayetta, Kansas. Here we go, race fans. We'll try it again one more time with our Hyundai Repair Service IMCA stock cars. Kevin Van Lanningham, the 52. Kyle Van over the 19 on the front row one more time. Side by side, here we go into turn number three. Craig Harper looking them over. Off a of turn four, green skyward. Van over to the high side one more time. He'll take the lead down the back straightaway. Van Lanningham in second and here comes Labonte up to battling with him one more time. Good battle throughout the field here in our IMCA stock car. A main. Kyle Vanover showing them the way early on. Here comes Eric Rimple. Rimple in the 21 on the move. 21 up to second and Lance Borgman. Keep an eye on the 76. Another Beatrice Nebraska car. Former modified driver stepping into the IMCA stock car ranks. Down the back straightaway, Kyle Vanover continues to lead. Eric Rimple into that second spot. Then it's the 99 of Brian Labonte. Oh, Labonte pushes up the hill. Here comes Borgman. Borgman looks for third. And keep an eye out, Mike Nichols. Nichols up to fifth now. Now 
Out front, Kyle Vanover having a strong run here in our IMCA stock car. A main, Eric Ripple trying to re reel your leader in. Lance Borgman into that third spot. Borgman in the 76 runs third. Fourth is the 99 of Brian Labonte. And then your fifth spot, the 63 of Mike Nichols. Oh, look out. Brian Labonte going through the infield. Your fourth place car comes back out on the speedway. He loses a lot of positions. Out front, the 19 of Kyle Vanover. He's starting to build a lead now. Battle shaping up for second as Borgman's caught up to the 21 of Eric Rimple. And looks like Labonte is going to stay moving. Labonte's struggling here the last couple of laps. He'll pull to the infield. We'll stay green on the speedway. As your leader goes through lap traffic, Kyle Vanover out front on cruise control. Right now, Eric Ripple, the only one with a challenge on the speedway as he has Lance Borgman right on the bumper of the 21. And looks like Kyle Van Lanningham problems on the 52. And indeed, Kevin Van Lanningham takes the 52 off the speedway. And as your leader works his way off at turn number three into turn number four, he'll look for the white flag off at turn four. One more lap. Kyle Vanover will take that white flag. Eric Ripple. As well, and right behind him, Lance Borgman. Now Borgman makes a bid for second. That's the battle on the speedway as your leader will come off at turn number four. Kyle Vanover takes the checkered flag. Here comes the battle for position off at turn number two. Side by side down the front straightaway. Kyle, or Kevin Rimple picks up the second spot. Lance Borgman will settle for third. Mike Nichols fourth. And Greg Dieter's your top five. So here's our fourth feature winner to stop the pit pass liquor victory lane. And here we go. We'll stop in the pit pass liquor victory lane. And he'll pick up the trophy brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Here with the winner of the stock cars tonight at Thunder Hill Stock, st <laughs> Kyle Vanauer. Vanauer. Vanover. Vanover. May I get it right yet? Vanover. Kyle Vanover. Kyle, uh, great run out there, man. Thank you. It uh, definitely helped starting on the front row, but uh, just kind of set your own pace, and it went green to checkered, so we we're pretty good. I got to ask you this, uh, just talking to Jordan there a while ago, what's the deal up there in uh, Beatrice? I mean, you guys, is it in the corn or something you grow up there? But it seems like you, uh, you you guys get uh, trained up there and then kind of go out and take on the world. Uh, our home track in Beatrice is pretty difficult and teaches you a lot. And uh, not that this track is easy, but it's, uh, this track's very demanding. But it's uh, it, the other track really keeps you true, and then this one it has different. They both have different aspects, but they both, you know, they they make sure they keep you uh, on it. <laughs> I haven't had the pleasure to get up to Beatrice. Uh, is it banked as much as as what it is here at Thunder Hill? No, it, it's a little bit flatter, 
a lot tighter, and it's just got some overall weird characteristics. <laughs> a good training ground, but anyway, a great run, man. You got out front, and uh, I mean, you know, there was no challenge. Yeah, the, that's the biggest thing, though, is you got to get out front and set your marks so you don't uh, give it up at the end. Yeah. And uh, that's been the biggest thing is just, you know, set my marks and uh, make sure I ran every lap the same and as hard as the first one. And, and uh, at the end, luckily, we ended up with a pretty big lead. I'm going to try and get this right now. The winner for the stock car was Kyle Vanover. Vanover. I got it, I think. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> Thank you. Here we'll show the big John. <laughs> Welcome back to the final race from Thunder Hill at Mayetta for the IMCA Modified A Main. 25P, Mike Peter Silly, the 3B. Nick Bittinger, side by side. Green on the speedway, down to turn one. Mike Peter Silly out front, but here comes Bittinger on the high side. Bittinger with the momentum will take the lead into turn three. And here comes Jordan Grabowski. Grabowski working that low line. He's into third. Bittinger, your leader. Peter Silly in second of the 25. Grabowski third. Brian Riggs being the 12 and the three. G3 of Brandon Gimble battle for fourth. Ah, caution. Caution on the speedway over in turn number two. Looks like that's Van Gimble in the 21, Shane Wittengill the 91 up there in turn number two. Here we go now. Nick Bittinger, your leader. He'll take the field down into turn number three. We'll look for the green flag off in of turn four. Green skyward. Bittinger takes him down to turn one. Grabowski gives Jason the 30. Here he comes to the inside. Bittinger with the momentum off at of two. He'll lead into turn three. Mike Peter Silly closes the gap, but here comes Brendan Gimmel. Oh, Peter Silly, a little too hot. Gets crossed up. There goes Gimmel. Here comes Brian Rigsby. Rigsby in the new jet car, work of the top five. And now you got a battle up front. Jordan Grabowski in the 30 has caught up with your leader, the three B of Nick Benninger. Grabowski looking for a line around. Here he comes to the inside. He'll make the pass down the back straightaway. Your new leader, the 30 of Jordan Grabowski. Bittinger will keep working that high groove, trying to close the gap on Grabowski. Brandon Gimble up into third, the G3. Mike Peter Silly back to fourth, the 25. And your fifth spot is the 12 of Brian Rigsby. Working lap number eight, it'll be nine by, nine to go, no, nine down this time by. I'll get it right. Right now, Grabowski, the quickest car on the track with an 18-2. And Van Gimmel continues to lose more parts off the car. Gimmel not having a good night here in the 21. Ten laps in the books. Jordan Grabowski has the Zek Ford 33 out front. That Razor chassis likes Thunder Hill Speedway. laps down. Now out front, Jordan Grabowski, and he's starting to build the lead now. Brandon Gimbel is the battle on the speedway in the G3. He sits third, Mike Peter Silly fourth. Man, 
Andrew Leader starts to work his way through lap traffic. Jordan Grabowski up to the 52 of Cliff Shepard. He'll look to the inside. He'll clear the 52. Now he has the 91 of Shane Wettengill in front of him. Jordan Grabowski putting cars laps down. 29 of Steve Withy off the pace. Nick Bittinger continues to run second of the 3B as the field starts to spread out. Working lap 18 this time by Jordan Grabowski, your leader. As the laps start to wind down, more lap traffic in front of the 30th Jordan Grabowski. White flag, one more lap. The Zek Ford. Number 30 of Jordan Grabowski hits down the back straightaway for the final time as he looks to put his first win at Thunder Hill Speedway in the books coming off at turn four. Harper's got the checkered flag in hand. Jordan Grabowski picks up the win. Picking up that second spot will be Nick Bittinger. Third will go to the G3 of Brandon Gimmel. 25, Mike Petersilli will get fourth and Brian Rigsby in the 12, your top five. So race fans, that puts night number one of the Extreme Motorsports Clash at the Hill in the books with Jordan Grabowski. He'll stand in the pit pass liquor victory lane picking up the trophy brought to you by O'Reilly Auto Parts. And a familiar sight heading to the pit pass liquor victory lane from Beatrice, Nebraska. It'll be the 30 of Jordan Grabowski. That Zek Ford was on a rail. Here with the winner tonight for the IMCA mods here at Thunder Hill, uh, Jordan Garboski. Jordan, uh, man, uh, starting off just where you uh, left off last year. Yeah, this place has been really good to me, and we got a setup we use here that works pretty good, and everything kind of comes together. But uh, no, the car was good tonight, and this is still a newer car. We're kind of working out some bugs and stuff like that, and yeah. uh, it was good. So happy with the outcome, and. Uh, track was really nice for opening night and as much rain as they had last night uh, there was quite a heat race you had there with Charles I don't, I don't know about you but it sure was fun to watch kind of going back in time a little bit but uh, almost looked like he was gonna pull it off here one time yeah no kidding he was m making me a little nervous flying in there doing the slide job but that, I guess that's what pe puts people in the stands and so it's kind of fun to race with Tommy always usually races with me pretty clean so I, I trust him and hopefully uh, hopefully we can do some racing like that here at the end of the year What's the plans for this year? I know we kind of talked earlier, and are you going to be running a lot of IMCA, kind of hit and miss? How's it going to go for the year for you? We're just going to kind of fly by the seat of our pants. I won't be here next weekend. We, uh, my crew chief is getting uh, getting married, so uh, we'll be out on that one. But um, we're gonna we're just going to run here when we can't. Like you know, we didn't we uh, we're all excited about going racing down here. You know, so. We're just going to kind of hit and miss and do what we can, when we can, and and uh, not race for any points. That way there's no pressure and just kind of have fun. So, well, I mean, man, yeah. tonight when, when you just race for fun, it, it uh, takes all the pressure off of it and just yeah. seems like everything goes a lot smoother and you don't stew and brew about all the small things. So, <laughs> I hear that. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. points racing yeah. really good bad. Oh, though. man. So uh, last year, you know, that was just – it almost took the fun. Now, once it was done, the fun it was really fun to actually win the deal and, and – uh, do that but now it's kind of fun just to relax and race and have fun and that was a great night of racing at Mayetta special thanks goes out to field reporter Mike Kraft and the crew have a great week we'll see you next time on the grassroots racing show night at the track remember 
If you can't watch us on TV, be sure to check out our website at grassrootsracing.org to watch any of the past shows from the 2011 and 2012 season. You can also check us out at our merchandise page and buy t-shirts, hats, and other great stuff. Better yet, submit a fan question of the week. If your answer is chosen, we'll send you a hat or a t-shirt for free. Thanks for watching. See you next week.